Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular Material full tutorial series with live examples. In today's episode, we will learn about Angular Material Badge. So badge, badges are pretty common nowadays in most responsive applications where we need to highlight the number of items for a particular feature or functionality. For example, we want to highlight how many new messages or how many notifications, etc. So today we will learn how to do that. And before we get started, friends, I request you kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have any technical doubts or queries, drop them in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you. That being said, let's get started with our practical. All right, so the first thing we have to do is import the required modules in our app module. Now, usually what we do is we will import the module in our app module. But since we are building with material, Angular material, it's a good practice to inject all the modules into a single module. See, I have imported all the mod all the required modules like select, radio, slider, including the badge into a single mo module called demo material module. And from th and then I it's easy to just inject one module rather than injecting each time individually. So you can also do the same and then go to app module and inject the demo material module into the app module. So that way, all the required material components will be available to us in one go. We do not have to do it individually for each module. All right, so I have injected the required module and in this case, it is mat badge module. Let me quickly show you that also in the module and then we'll move on to the practical. So you see here, we have imported our mat badge module and we have injected that in our app module. Now we need to, we can directly use it in our template files. So let's get started and create a new placeholder for it and we'll use mat badge. So I'm going to create a mat card here and give it a style so that it looks much better just like the other cards. And these are all the cards that we have created in previous episodes. So if you have not checked them out, please do so. I'm creating a span and I'm calling it messages. Let's just see first what happens when we do that. So we see here, we got our material card and we have our span, which is messages. Now we want to highlight the number of that is the badge. And let's see that how to do that. So we go here to span and then we will add mat badge equal to the number that you want to display. Let's say five. Now you should see that the five will reflect here along with messages. Now there is a, if you see here carefully, the messages is getting overlapped with the number and we do not want it. So what we'll do is we'll customize it using an option there now. Let's go and add the option mat mat overlap equal to false so now this should not overlap oh i'm sorry we should add mat badge overlap so now you will see that they are not overlapping. You see now there's this little space. So this is what we want so that it's readable and it's aligned well. By default, all match mat badges are aligned after the text, but we can arrange the position if you want to change it. Let's see that how to do. So here you can also pass an option called mat badge position equal to we can say before or after. There are two options. So now you see the number has gone in front. That is because we gave the position as 
before similarly if you add the the value as after the number would appear after the text let's see that and by default it is always after so no need to explicitly mention that now you would see now this is correctly aligned let's build a quick couple of lists so we can see how it looks and i'm going to just quickly add some breaks so that we it goes to next line all right and for some to make it look better i'm just going to change the values and here i'm going to call it notifications and here i'm going to call news so let's see this now so we can arrange the position accordingly it doesn't look nice right although we have used the badge but somehow it doesn't look appropriate so the best way to use this is using a list that is angular material list that is what we are going to explore in our next tutorial join me there and learn angular material full tutorial series in arc tutorials thank you so much for joining in this episode please don't forget to subscribe to keep supporting and encouraging me if you have any technical doubts or queries drop them in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for joining